Okay, we're in this patient's shoulder. This is the subacromial space. Above us here is the acromion. This is the humeral head right here. And this is what a full thickness rotator cuff tear looks like. So you can see the sort of uh, half circular shape here. This is the supraspinatus tendon. You see me getting under it here and lifting it up. So this tendon was originally attached over here to the humerus and it's pulled off the humerus and slowly starting to retract there medially. So this is a full thickness rotator cuff tear, which we are gonna fix. We're gonna gently shave this bone here on the humeral head, which stimulates some blood flow into the repaired tendon to help it heal back down into the bone. So this is us just preparing the humerus for our repair. So as you can see, all this soft tissue has been shaved down and we're just gently contouring this area with our burr so that once we've repaired the rotator cuff, it's more likely to heal because we've stimulated some bleeding here from the humerus. Next up here is tapping for our anchors. This is a tap that we put down and it creates a threaded hole in the humerus. Once we've done that, there's our anchor going in. And these are hollow architecture anchors. So I'll show you here in a sec. You can see there's no central portion of this anchor, which allows, again, bone marrow to leak up into our repaired tissue. And I'm really pulling on that. That's in there. So that's awesome. That's the first one of our medial row. We're going to put another one right here. So there's a pretty good look at our two medial row anchors there to repair the cuff. So now we're going to get started. Okay, I'll just show you guys what we've done here. Uh, these are double loaded anchors. There you can see the posterior and anterior ones. We've passed four horizontal mattress sutures through the cuff. So we go blue, white, blue, and then blue and white there. Slowly working our way from the back to the front. And now what we're gonna do is bring them out here for a knotless double row repair. Uh, so we'll show you how, how we did that here. Okay, so we've taken four and that's our first lateral row anchor. Now I'm going to come in here, grab the remainder of our sutures. So there should be another four. Okay, so this is now our next four sutures coming out. Good. We're going to combine those with our next lateral row anchor. Okay, final look at our repair. So normal cuff here. These are all of our sutures. There's our first, so our posterior lateral row anchor there. And then there's our more anterior lateral row here. All of our sutures coming down. We didn't use any knots. I'll just take the scope out of the shoulder here and put it in laterally for you guys to see. Coming in lateral here, you can see a pretty decent look at our repair here. And that looks very good. We've reapproximated it down. There you can see the hollow architecture anchors in our lateral row. It's a good looking repair here for a full thickness rotator cuff tear of the shoulder. That looks good.